guys, my name is Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker. I've made four feature films, working on my fifth, as well as a reality show. But I wanted to make this video today for you guys to talk about what cinema camera I think is the best cinema camera that's been made in the past 10 years. This camera is none other than the Blackmagic 6K full frame cinema. This right here, guys, is literally the rig that I use. This setup, lens combo, camera, this is the setup that I use to shoot my films. That is it. There's no external monitor. There's no fancy, you know, EV finder. There's nothing. There's no focus puller. That is it. I mean, this is it, guys. This is literally it. This is what I use to make movies. And I'm going to roll clips that you've probably seen in the beginning already or right now. Either way, um, I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you why I think that this camera is the best, most affordable cinema camera of the decade, right? Now it's never been easier to go ahead and make your feature film, go and make your short film, go and make your project. 13 stops at dynamic range, 6K, open gate. I mean, you wanna go ahead and shoot 120 frames, you're gonna have to scope down or uh, crop down to like 4K or 2K, I forget exactly, but B-roll, I mean, it does everything you need and it comes with DaVinci Resolve. It does everything that you need to go ahead and shoot your film. There is not a better camera system out, right, to, to shoot your projects, right? The, the, the closest thing to it is the Lumix S5, you know, 2X or, or cameras like that, which uh, they're a little bit cheaper and you can kind of get some good things, but in order to get raw, you have to go through an Atomos or through something else. Uh, the new, I think Nikon or new Lumix system, one of them, I forget, allows you to shoot an Aries C-Log. But the truth is, is that in today's world, it just doesn't matter, right? The nuances of differences between an Ari and a Red and a Black Magic, they're not gonna make your film any better, right? We've reached a threshold now where the output and upgrade in quality is so minimal that most people don't care or don't notice it. What I will say is that a Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K can get you every single thing that you want on camera, on film, and allow you to get it easily, right? A lot of times people think like, oh, I have to go and do this and do that, and oh, this is the cinema experience. It's like, no, man, when you start making movies, and the, the reason why I make these videos for you guys is from a filmmaker's perspective that uses these equipments, the fancy schmancy stuff is just not needed, right? It doesn't make anything better, right? It, it, the, the footage may just seem a little bit better. The colors may seem just a little bit better, but that doesn't make the viewing experience better. You can use a bare bones setup like I do, right? And go and create your films. And hey, maybe you've seen the, the footage in this video and you're like, ah, that's really not that good. That's not what I'm going for. Okay, cool. But I'm still making films with this setup that get onto platforms like the CW, you know, Amazon Prime, Tubi, other networks, the Roku network, all that good stuff, uh, viewed overseas internationally with these bare bones setups. There's other filmmakers on Tubi that are using worse setups with worse lighting and worse sound, and they're trending on Tubi and making money. So when I tell you, hey, this is the best uh, affordable cinema camera setup that you can buy in 2024, all the way back to when the OG 6K came out, and even the Blackmagic 4K, it just, it just doesn't get better for that price point. Because if you want the 16 stops of dynamic range or the 15 plus, and you're gonna go get a red Komodo X, you're spending 10K for just the body. And we're not even talking about, you know, the, the, the Ari Alexas or even the Verano at 25K or the Sony FX6 at like 8K. I mean, these prices are just outrageous for the average daily filmmaker where you're spending, you know, 2015 Honda Accord money. Like we're not doing that out here. We're making films and we're making content for people to consume. So I urge you, 
to at least try the full frame 6K camera because it's definitely better than the OG 6K or the 6K Pro. The, the, the quality that comes out of this, they either under advertise or what, but the colors and the way it renders things are so much better that it, it what that gap was from like the 6K to the RELX in the red is now even smaller with the 6K full frame. So yes, in my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best camera that you can buy to go make your movies for this price point and competes and compares and punches way above its belt. I'm Jason Park with Hyper 2 Productions. Talk to you guys soon.